We're doing Elo L again. We are doing another plat player who believes they should be masters. I'm not going out of my way to do these. These are just some of the better ones. These are like a lot of players are names I recognize and I've seen them do decent at one point or another, whether it was in a video or whatever it was. So today we are doing Normac. He's currently plat one, 1960 MMR. Jungler. We saw him in a video a couple months ago, maybe two months ago, and he popped off in the jungle. He went nuts. I've been wanting to watch him anyway, see how he's progressing, see where he's at. He's in a master's lobby. I think there's one player that's like 2350 MMR diamond one or something, but mostly master's lobby. MMR gap isn't too crazy. We're talking three to 600, 700 on some of the players. I expect him to do decent in this game. I really do. I think this is somebody that probably should be masters if he you know, gets the right coaching or just the right, makes the right improvements. And I want to see where he's at. It's been a while since we've seen him play. Team comp so far, solid, not crazy. Both both team comps are pretty good. It's weird seeing some of the old, the gods that have fallen off a bit get picked. I don't see a ton of Kakulin. Don't see much tearing out. Kumba? All right, red team's comp is a little troll. The Susano's good. The Janus is good. Honor is good. The Kumba is questionable. I do like the Bastet pick. It's a great pick. Bastet's one of the better uh, junglers still, even after the changes. They did buff Kumba's passive a lot, but it, was, it wasn't enough because they nerfed his damage so much. I know the jungler and the mid, and the ADC are on their main roles on red team. So if we're talking about just a pure position based gameplay, red might be at an advantage. Could be wrong, like, you know, could end up being the other way around, but we'll see. So we're gonna follow along with Normac. See what he goes. He should be going bow. Should be going I Jotuns or I, yeah, probably I Jotuns. Maybe he goes Transcendence, but I don't like Transcendence first. Not bad, I just don't like it. Soul Eater is also really good for him. He is going Jotuns. I think Jean Kui with any build other than the full AA build is trash. Dog shit. Full AA build is strong if you're good. Winch, thank you for the sub. Ice Draw, thank you for the 35 months. Uh, yeah, that's life, Neo. It gets a little hectic sometimes. Just remember, it's not always like that. I want to find the highest MMR arena casual player and put him in a lobby with masters players and see how he does. But I have no way to look up the highest MMR player right now. I'd have to have a basically a leaderboard built by my website guy onto Smite Source to know. Good job dodging there. Out of everyone we've ever watched for an Elo Hell video, Normac is the first person I have expect like true expectations for. Which might not be fair to him because I think I've only seen him play once, maybe twice. But the one time I saw him play, it was clean and it was on Sir Cat, who most people struggle with. Is a Marino player probably party cues? Oh, I'm sure they do, but that doesn't that doesn't change anything. Yo, Cambo, let's go for a ride, bro. Let's do it. Let's go for a ride, and then you gotta let me drive it. You can drive mine. My 600. I want to feel the difference. Oh my God! Look at this. He's a dude. I oh this is fucking this is about to be dude, I'm queuing with Normac I'm queuing with someone Normac whenever Mindy's not around I'm queuing with Normac most people that play Sir Cat are not good at Sir Cat if you can't consistently double taunt on Sir Cat do not play Sir Cat there's no point any other god played with just their base kit is better than playing Sir Cat if you can't land your two on two people and hit them with combos. He's a 1990 MMR. He's good. Normac is good. Good. See him being at the blue. I heart like I literally harp this so much. Be at your solo laner's blue buff on the timer. Guess where Normac is? At his solo laner's blue buff. Guess what he does? Stops a fucking invade. All by being where he needs to be. Instead of doing the wrong buffs in the wrong place. This is why you listen to the things I try to tell you guys, man. 
I'm about this. I hope he has the best game out of anyone we've ever seen. Kind of crazy people have issues with Sirket considering how easy it is a double time. I don't think it, it's not easy. Most people don't do it consistently. Very few people do. I've seen some of the, like the highest rated players in the game. Uh, took his speed. What a potato. At least he's smart enough to not pick it up. Alpha, you're a troll. He can just get his other speed though. Someone said, I hope this one's better than the Janus one. The Janus one was boring. This one's not boring so far. This is solid. And he's going Jotun's first. He has Jotun's. He's huge. Bro, he's huge. Now, I want to know if he goes Transcendence, Soul Eater. If he goes just Soul Eater. Let's see what his build is here. Oh, I know Alvin didn't pick it up on purpose. He walked right under it. Mm, that's who's honor walls in a two level four. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. Uh, I don't. He did so much damage, but I don't think he's. Wait, wait. He didn't pop cooldown yet, right? He hasn't popped horn shard? Is he gonna horn shard? Oh, he did horn shard, absolutely. He's dead. His targeting was off there. That wasn't the like terrible because he hit all his abilities his mechanics it was just bad targeting in my opinion he went on who he, his ult hit oh we get a counter kill can we get a counter kill nope good peel he jumped too early he full committed to the Susano because he hit the Susano with his ult which probably wasn't the best um I mean he did a lot but it's just not enough Gonna go to honor or Kumba, in my opinion. The problem was the Susano started the fight, so Susano's abilities were coming up before everyone else's. It's like I'm assuming he has cooldown too. Oh no, he doesn't have cooldown. But you, you could save. Wait, he was fucking health chalice in the jungle. I feel like that's trash. I guess you buy a lot of health pods by habit. That's not trash. Oh, the combo. Where's that leap? Where's that? Is he out? I think he's out. <laughs> that was a good tier play. No, he popped the shard. He popped the shard. It just did it doesn't show it. You have to listen for the sound. He fucked up his gank so bad. Okay, his, he could have played the gank better, but the tier hit in the combo. Maybe it was luck. Still happened. Good play. He definitely should have positioned for the tier ult. I don't know why he didn't. And then the Athena ult should have landed 100% onto the tier. Or he could have leaped ahead to make sure the, the Athena ult landed into an instant taunt. What up, Endo? You're at USC. Sheesh. Oh, wait. He, his two didn't land. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. He yucked it, bro. He yucked his too. Jay Bangle, thank you for the 21 months. Kenny Dubs, thank you for the 18 months. I'm good, man. I'm good. Oh, that... If that could have been in range, I think that would have hit, but there's no way that was going to be in range. All right. The hype's wearing off a little bit, man. Obviously, the game's not... It's even game. It's nothing crazy, but... A little bit of hype wearing off. Yo, he, he's oom. What about Arden? Thank you for the seven months. Sub and be cool. Subs are super discounted this month. If you're a regular subber, like you sub month to month, uh, I appreciate you, first of all. You, you can get a discount by extending your sub to three or six months, where you just sub in advance, you save 30%. You get a free sub if you do three months, you get two free subs if you do six months. If you upgrade your sub to a tier two, it's, it's seven bucks. So it's, you know, you're basically paying the same cost as a tier one. If you upgrade to a tier three, you get $10 off. If you do both extend and upgrade, it goes nuts. The savings is like 50 bucks on some of it. Um, and then if you're new to subbing, it's 30% off. So for sub it's only for this month. And you should take advantage of the six month thing if you're here regularly, because it just saves you two, you, you save 10 bucks. It's that easy. You just get to save $10 for no reason for subbing this month. 
BLCC, you pop off with gifts and subs, bro. You go nuts. All right, he's getting caught up in the ganking and counter ganking right now. He's got a farm. If his boys get picked, he's got to let him get picked. I don't think he's confused. I think he's trying to help people that are caught out. He's trying to be everywhere instead of just playing his game. He's got kind of a whack rotation in the first place for him. Since there's no way he's going to 1v2 gank. He just lost a lot of time. He's going transcendent second. He's not behind though. He's not behind the Susano. He has nothing to worry about. It, ha it hasn't affected the game yet because the Susano is also ganking a lot. And his mid didn't farm any of this, so he didn't lose farm. Technically, it's just delayed. You gotta farm. You gotta hit this, bro. You gotta farm, man. If there's a fight here going on or this guy's super low, then you can go straight for the gank. But he's full HP with all his abilities up, bro. Just farm. This isn't even go out of your way to farm. Like, just hit the stuff you're standing next to. They're on gold. Good gold call from red. His mechanics are solid. Normac messed up. He should have leaped the Janus uh, two there and would have had a kill. Mm, he's dead. They're all dead for that. He got baited. They're low, but that was just misplay. He needed to blink the Susano blink. Am I watching college football? No, I've never been a big college football guy. This year, I'm going to pay attention to it. The stories are interesting. Like, obviously, your nutty teams like Oklahoma and shit are still nutty, but the Colorado story there, the fact that some of these other teams might not be as good as they usually are, making the games a little bit more interesting is going to be something I'm going to pay attention to. Yeah, dude, they got cooldown totem first, right? The cooldown totem is so busted in this game. And if you get it early, it is GG. I need to go back with Normac. Having 10% cooldown for no reason is crazy. Yeah, the, uh, all that whole story going on with fucking Dion and Colorado is crazy. That's like one of those sports stories that'll probably carry over into, you know, videos and movies and documentaries and shit. I mean, that team has two people who are being, there's arguments being made for uh, Heisman, right? The quarterback and the dude who plays cornerback and wide receiver and pretty much every down. Yeah, he plays every down on both sides of the ball. After the game, he said he wasn't tired. He didn't look tired either, which is fucking crazy. Then you have uh, Deion Sanders' son throwing for what, yeah, 5'10", 510 passing yards. I'm not a big college football guy. I never have been, but that those storylines are what make me a little more interested and follow it closer. 529. That's wild. And it's even crazier because everyone had them like not winning anything. Granted, they beat TCU who's on, you know, they're down pretty bad. So we'll see how the rest of the year plays out. 510 is just crazy. Good peel. This is a kill. Good turn that. Okay. Alpha claps hitting that too was actually massive. This is a chase. I think this is a chase. This should be a kill. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you gotta... Mm, I don't... He goes around the slow. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. They're gonna be chasing him for a while, but I think they should kill him. <gasps> is he gonna go into the base? Oh, my gosh. He's in the hiding spot. What? Okay, you knew he couldn't be there. What? That back from Aux was beautiful. They're lost in the sauce, dude.
I've never been to a football game. I think it's the only sport I've never seen live because it's usually fucking cold as shit and I'm not going to sit out in the cold. Um, but I'm kind of tempted to go to one at the beginning of this year before it gets cold. I, I like, I'm a big fan of hockey, like hockey, live hockey. I think live hockey is the best sport to watch and I'm not a hockey guy. I don't know, like I know the basics of hockey, but I don't know shit. I don't have like favorite players or any of that shit. I, I know the basics, but I, watching a hockey game live is fucking awesome. It goes by so fast because it just feels like shit is always happening, which is rare in most sports. I mean, in every sport, it's pretty fucking rare to be honest. Every sport has downtime that like gets boring. All right, let's see what our boys got here. This could be a gank. He's got ult. Mm. <laughs> I think he's got to start picking and choosing when the ult a little bit better and just use it as a time buyer, basically. So use it after he uses his, dumps his kit so that he can be doing damage until his kit comes back up. Wait, their honor is DC'd. Why aren't they paused? Oh, they don't have extra pause time on. They have ranked pause time rules on. Because I forgot to tell him. Well, hopefully he comes back really soon so it doesn't impact this match. If not, I'm going to be pretty sad. Endo, that would be sick. That would be fucking dope. I've definitely never been to a college game, but college sports are fucking awesome. When VCU was in the, the playoffs for uh, Final Four, I was at the school then, and going to those games was fucking awesome. Come on, on her. Come back, Leto. You're an on her main, man. We need you. What is happening in mid? Look at these back and forth. And this dude. Oh, clean all. Clean? He needs to hit the, the root. He should. Nice. That's a kill. Port stole the kill. Honor set up back. Power went out. Booting up. You're good. They The pauses are fucked because it's ranked pause rules. So they couldn't stay paused. Yeah, Bl I didn't tell Blake. It's my fault. Blado looking for the steal. He's wait, wait, wait. Oh shit! They stole it. Okay, if Honor comes back, they're chilling now. That steal is massive. Susana was in. Okay, weird fight. Wait. Yeah, weird fight to take from Susana. Oh, Ox claps. Oh no, they're on the retreat. The 4v5 lost. Gold stolen kills getting yoinked. I don't think he should go back in. I think they should just take the L here. That gold veer is a bad call. I don't put that on Normac at all, to be honest with you. That just wasn't a good your gold veer. They needed to, to fight off whoever was there. They should have just poked out the tier. All right, Normag, I'm type hyping up your mechanics here and you're missing on the chase. Just out of range. I love so much the fact that for years people would try to shit talk my community, like not being good at the game and all this shit. Bro, the community is just filled with fucking good players now. Everyone either got better or uh, they're just nuts. Luckily, Cyclone's not in the community because he'd bring, bring us way down. I, yeah, I hate the way that Normac is using his ult. It's not complete dog shit, but it's not good by any means. Mamba brought the real community down. Mamba's not even a ranked gamer. Mamba's a real lifer. <laughs> a little racist. <laughs> Just a little, Mamba? Michael, what did you say? I didn't read. I'll read. Hold on. How can I best contact you? Twitter? Discord, probably the best. I check Discord pretty regularly.
this was just weird because I have like 5,000. Good pick. Good. Wait. Nice. Good pick. This could be another kill. That's another kill. The cat was wrecking him. The three was just running around. <laughs> good kills. Oh, Leto's still not back. I thought he came back. Whoops. I'm getting all hyped when there's no ADC. I think Bastet, like if you don't go Susano to counter Janice, I think Bastet is the next hardest counter to uh, Janice. It's so easy to keep a Janice off of his portal with your three and then to just follow through the portal with your leap. Yeah, this DC sucks. I mean, his power went out. There's nothing he can do about it. Could set up for a crazy loss uh, if blue team loses though. My Discord won't let you in. It says unable to accept invite. Um, are you, do you have your Twitch connected to your discord? You think they need to nerf Bastet's damage though? Uh, I mean, I think Bastet's still one of the better ranked junglers in the game. Maybe not the pub stomping one, but pure, pure ability based jungler. She's very good. Yeah. Wait, Endo, are you banned from the discord? Good target, good timing. He should have leaped that ult instead of ulting him, man. I, I hate the way he's using his ult. He needs the kit dump. It's fine to use your ult before your kit if there's a reason, but he's just throwing it out instead of kit dumping. Use the ult for CC immunity. Use it to grab somebody who's, you know, pullable. Use it for a damage filler when your abilities are down. He's just running from these guys. He can't play the game, dude. Good jump back. Susano's on the way now. He doesn't know that, obviously. Still, oh. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, he's just playing keep away. He's dead. Wait. The shell, the team. Yeah, he's dead. Honestly, red team for having no ADC is fighting insanely well. If they had the ADC here, I think they would be winning this game by a lot. He said his power went out and then it came back on, but it might have gone back out again. What's the goon squad role? Uh, it's like J Tedder and Chip and them's fucking squad. And Dinkleberg. That's like the OG fucking group. Uh, yeah, your old account got hacked, probably got banned for spamming, made a new account. Um, give after stream, I'll check and see if like I see your name. I can try unbanning it. Bunch of dickheads. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, most of the roles in that discord, uh, Daedra set up except for Goon Squad. Goon Squad is just old, old, old. Oh, we're not watching Normak. Normak got picked. No, I just realized. I don't, well, we know he dies, but I want to jump back. That's my bad. Uh, I was hyped because we were following somebody who was clapping, but it's just another Janus gamer. Remember, there's still no ADC. This is 4v5. I don't think Lado's coming back. But it would be something to see a 4v5 team win. Okay, he just got absolutely... Wait, is he going to kill? He got the kill, didn't he? That was a good pickup, but he was out of position there. He wasn't far enough back, and he wasn't looping from the side. That was a direct engagement. If there's an ADC in that fight, he doesn't kill the Susano. That fight's just wiped by red team. What up, Swamp Balls? Thank you for the primer. Panda, thank you for the 40 months. This is stinks because this isn't a good showing for Normax. His mechanics are good. His decision making and like how he uses abilities needs to be changed. But we can't really tell exactly what since it's not a full game. What's up guys though? Thank you for the 39 months. Your PC might be fried from the surge, says Leto. Um, 
try uh shutting the power off to it like the actual switch on it unplugging it hit the power button a bunch of times and burn it all out let it sit for like 15 seconds and then plug it all back in and see it works This is looking rough. Well, you guys that don't have any surge protection are fucking crazy. It's like uh, you get them for like 10 bucks from Amazon and it could save you thousands of, you know, just anything crazy happens. I don't think I've ever had my computer plugged directly into a wall in my life. How much data scraping do you do? Like for my own per information? <clears throat> uh, not a lot, but I've, I've done some, I've had to do some. If there was a company I could hire for not too much to just do it for me, I would, but most of them are pretty bullshit from what I've seen. I had um <clears throat> I didn't talk to you guys about this but like what a month ago when I started playing Tarkov somebody called so first of all my internet my information isn't on the internet I don't know how it worked out that way but most of my information is not on the internet um but somebody somehow got a hold of my like uh one of my family members house called them at three in the morning and then pretended to be cops my dad knew what was going on. He wasn't worried about it. My mom freaked out a little bit, but she basically said fuck off and hung up. My dad uh, answered the second time they called and was like asking him information basically to get him to fucking kind of like, what the, per is it perjure themselves, I guess? Um, <clears throat> so yeah, they were acting like they were cops or something, something weird at 3 a.m. Yeah, so they my, like i told my parents like you need to just tell the like actually call the cops and tell them someone's impersonating them so it's on file on record <clears throat> if it happens again i'm gonna hire somebody to oh my gosh get clapped to go figure out who's doing it and press charges because you using like a, a phone number hider does that's not gonna work if i hire somebody to go pull phone records they're gonna figure out who's doing it in like five seconds It'll cost me a couple thousand bucks and it'll cost them like it's illegal. You're pretending to be a cop. You're gonna go to jail You're absolutely gonna go to jail Imagine trying to troll a streamer and going to jail for it Crazy guys, I don't think the 39 months. How is blue losing this? Normac is slipping for me boys Ugh. He's doing a lot of W keying, not a lot of calculated engagements, not waiting to see where people are. He's not entering fights in a like a like an assassin way. He's kind of just going face first in, almost like a warrior. Do we see damage? Yeah, I got you. The mages are way on top. Solo jungle, solo jungle. ADCs are low. <laughs> Bro, ADCs are low. Lado hasn't been in the game for like ten minutes, fifteen minutes. Ox is popping off. Yeah, red team wins this if they have an ADC. There's no question in my mind. Blue team doesn't stand a chance if it's 5v5. They're just winning off of pure numbers right now. All right, look, we all know good player on Janus is gimmicky. It's still 4v5. He's back. Lado's back. All right, here we go. If Lado comes back and gets a kill, he's going to get five levels. Okay, Lado's dead. <laughs> I take him back. 
Blink? 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 He needs to be looking for a blink to, to kill Susano here. Now he's out of position and his blink's not up. So he's going to leap in and now he's super out of position. He does a lot of damage. Needs this. I like to disengage. He didn't leap back. It was probably smarter. I don't know why he won't blink though. Dan is about to get back into this fight. He one shot later when he came back, so he couldn't farm. It's fucked up. Normax just going into the fights too early. So you pointed out Janice is kind of clapping him and you were like, well, Janice goes in after Normak uses his kit. That means Normak is using his kit incorrectly. If the Janice is a problem, you don't go on anybody so you can combo the Janice or you use abilities based around the fact that you know Janice is going to go for you. So, you know, you'll throw your threes and your twos out, but you won't leap and you'll leap when Janice tries to land a two on you. His problem is his reaction to Janice going on him is an ult instead of a dodge. He's not trying to avoid abilities or his leaps already on cooldown. I mean, if you're an assassin, assassins counter mages very hard. Most mages, especially he does hard counter Janus and they can pop off against ADCs. So he needs to target accordingly. And if the Janus or the mage is the problem, then you target the mage. The Susano about a gank. The gank can flank. Blue team gets the gold. Susano at one HP. Check ADC level. I mean, he was level 10, then he died, so we'll see. He's level 13. Uh, if he gets back to... If he gets in farm, if they can defend Phoenix and you know, buy him time to farm, I think Red still wins this. They gotta stop going for dumb shit, though, like like stealing a gold fury. They're gonna lose this Phoenix because they don't have abilities for gold fury, probably. There, see, this is better targeting. Good poke. Wait, his one night might not be up. Oh, he's done. He's done. He needed to lead back instantly. Good play from Bop Bop, to be honest. Normak picked again. I liked his targeting, but he, he should have just leaped back instantly. He got Kumba. The ult into the cripple. Look, Kumba's not good, but that cripple is annoying. Big pick on Aux. Aux dying bad for red team. Wait, what level is Lado now? Level 14? Wait, if Lado gets this kill, Lado needs this last hit. They need to let Lado get this last hit. Okay, he got a whole level off of that. There's level 15 now. Wait, 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 wait. wait. All right. A little bit more farm and he's in the game. Jump back in with Normac. I'm so glad Lado came back because this is a crazy win for red team. Just blue had a good early game. Their mid game was struggling. And then this 4v5, they were, they were having a bad time. Wait, Razy's here. Hello, Razy. How's the baby, dude? How's dad life? Baby life. New tier list? Uh, I just did a new tier list for this patch on, uh, on last Sunday, right? Less than a, than a week ago. About a week ago. Baby is great. Good. Have you taken her home yet? Oh, I don't know if what I told later to fix. He said something about Wi-Fi. So his, his Ethernet might not have been working. So he swapped the Wi-Fi. My tier list of Chernobog, Raijin, S, S tier. Uh, I think it had Chernobog, S tier, and Raijin, S a plus, but I said it was just because I haven't seen someone good play Raijin yet. All the people that played Raijin on PTS were getting destroyed, so I wasn't sure they weren't they weren't uh, top tier players. Now we know Raijin's nuts. I'm going to do an updated one, but I want to go in and just update mine. I don't want to do a whole new tier list. I want to shift what needs to be shifted. Do a video on it. Is it true good not to ward as jungle? You should be warding. You should buy one ward every back as a jungler after your first item. Buy a ward every back. If not, you're you're trolling. 
if you if you're playing to win a game and you're not warding i think you're an idiot by the way that could have been a sick bass at all he was throwing at the janus but he should if he's throwing at tier would have been nuts why is he he's hesitating bro he should have thrown his three instantly at suzano why did he hesitate blink okay Nah, this is my last elo hell. After this game, I'm gonna play Tarkov. Honor's level 17 and he's dead. Oh, big damage. Suzano dies off his 3 TP. This is a good fight for blue. Ox is still alive, so maybe not the greatest fight. Wait, Ox might be able to kill everybody here. Ox might be able to kill everybody here. Never mind. He just healed so much. Normak healed so much. Big play. What, what build did he end up going? Soul Eater serrated. Yeah, he's got so much life steal. They don't have anti heal. Missed his ult again. Jungle my main role? Yeah. Sports games like 2K and Madden. I've never liked them because of how repetitive they are. Like, the variation game to game is not. There's not a lot. It's very much the same. I've always been like that. I played 2K a good amount. I played Madden a good amount. Um, I got to the point where I play those games and I can beat people who play them all the time. Like not the pros, but like, you know, your casual gamers who play like every day. I can usually beat them or stay even with them. In college, I would go play like once every couple months with my friends that only played NBA 2K. Um, and, or, and, and Madden, they played both of them and I can whoop their asses in those games. I can't play FIFA for shit. I, FIFA, I don't know shit about to begin with, and I suck at FIFA. Almost level 20 on the ADC. He's going to beat their support to level 20. Is he full build on Leto? He needs to finish his starter. If he hits full build. Alright, Normac, I need you to take out the Janus. Please, brother. Please. We're 34 minutes in. You gotta know this by now. If someone's out of position, he could throw his kit at him for sure, but he needs the full commit to Janus. Oh, that was close. They red team has so many wards up. Why are you ulting nothing and walking into a tier? His ult usage is troll. He's dead. He tossed through that fight so hard. So hard, bro. All right, Susano's dead. A lot of low tall targets. And the fact that Aux is almost dead is really good for blue team. Oh. <gasps> yeah, hold the fucking phone. What items does a Janus have? Okay, Janice should sell Chronos Pendant and buy any item he wants, even a soul gem at that point, and just start do go cooldown uh buff, cooldown blue buff off of his things. Heim dies if Janice mid maxes his build. Because you get a free 20% cooldown now that you can get the blue buff all from Shaman Totem and then you can get Red Pot. So you, you don't need that much CDR. Meteor Rod? Probably there because he was autoing the air, yeah. Meteor Rod's nuts. Even on gods that don't CC, I actually think Meteor Rod is just nuts. I'm being Gilded Arrow is criminal. I mean, if they... Why? Dude, if you throw your three, he's dead. Oh, good job from Aux. He gets the kill anyway. That was terrible positioning from Leto. The, okay, he's dead. The first fight, Normak doesn't use his ult to engage. He They win the fight. Missed taunt. That sucks. 
No, War Chalice is only worth if you buy it early. Or sorry, War Chalice isn't worth at all. But War Chalice only gets a little bit of value at, like, at all as if you're buying it early. <clears throat> Later, Endo. Have a good night, man. Should you even build Pendant now? Probably not. Especially if you have blue Shaman buff early. Probably not. Spear of Deso is so good. And then if you're just looking for extra proc damage, Soul Gem is going to be beast too. Oh. Tear just dumped the shit out of that fire giant. Big fight for red. Tear might have just won them the game. That's enhanced fire, so I think that's the game. And I am not even trying to target him. I was hoping Normac. I really thought Normac was gonna be our first person. That I'm like, he's nuts. He's definitely needle hell. Normac threw this game by himself. Like literally threw the game. That fight earlier. He's dead again here. Oh, wait. Honor just missed his ult so much. All right, there's the kill. Honor missed his ult like six fucking times. Six of his, uh... It's... That's game? That's game? If they hit the tower here, that's game? Oh, oh that was scary. Honor almost dead. If Susano was here, this is game. Maybe not. Heimdall might be able to defend. Actually, Heimdall in mid, they might be afraid of them. Are they going for it? Uh, nah, they're backing off because it's two damage dealers. They're, I think they're afraid of Alpha on the, the Yuong for this push. No, no, no. The Basset's not an Elo Heaven. He had a really good early mid game. His targeting is horrendous and his use of his ult on Basset is dog shit. I didn't see him blink on to a carry at all after like 15 minutes in this game. If he would just blink 3-2 a carry, they're dead. I don't know if Set knows how to play Heim at all. I'm surprised he went on ADC at all. Might as well have just played fucking your ADC. He went the wrong blink too. Okay, so we need to have a conversation. I'm not saying this blink is trash, but the fire blink does 800 damage for free, bro. It's just free damage. So why are you not, especially if you have any kind of root or CC, why are you not going fire blink? I mean, I know why he does it. He doesn't blink on anybody. He blinks more for like just mute movement, not for like, blinking and targeting and positioning. This is okay. Oh, I, I was literally about to say this is a terrible fight. Why are you defending a tier two when they have enhanced fire? If a team has enhanced fire, you're never defending a tier two tower. It, it gets three autos. It's not even there. It doesn't even exist. The Bastet will not wait to go on the carries. I don't know why. That should be game. He needed to just sit back and wait for Janice and kill Janice every time Janice finally went in. Let his team 4v4, Janice goes in, he kills him. He could always 3-2 from a distance if he wanted to poke before Janice went in, but he didn't see that. They're not hitting this Titan very much. And GG. Wait. Uh, dude, DC'd for 15 minutes and they still won the game. Honor did tw Honor had good damage in that game, bro. Holy crap. For being gone for so long. I was at 56k. Normac, my boy. 
you gotta change your targeting and your positioning your early mid your early game was good it was really good your mid game was you misplayed a little bit after mid game you were ulting to engage which was dog shit you were running straight at them you weren't waiting to go on the carries you were hitting the front line and getting caught out of position you want to engage from the side and behind the carries in a game like this where you can very much see that janus is the problem you need to wait for the janus and just clap him the second you see him you save your ult for the middle of your combo when you're diving somebody your ult doesn't have to be used as a setup or a beads burner obviously if their beads are down and you can catch them with the ult dope but you can jump on somebody use your full kit and then use your ult just for extra damage and for cc immunity there was so many and like honestly some of your early ganks you targeted you uh you opened with your ult into a late gank into the duo lane at like level seven and it hit the Susano who's full HP. So you kit dumped the Susano and got him to 20%. If you had just gone on somebody else with the rest of your kit, they were already low. You would have killed either the ADC or the support uh, rather than what happened, which turned into nothing. So really try to rethink your targeting a little bit. And I think you'll, you'll see that improvement you're looking for.